Hey guys, I'm Elizabeth Lopez, registered holistic nutritionist and master trainer. And I'm very excited today to bring you an awesome workout. We've got Liz here. Liz is also an amazing personal trainer and holistic nutritionist as well. Today, guys, we are going to walk you through kind of the this versus that of training for thick girls, things that are going to be helpful to your shape and unhelpful. Liz and I are also both thick girls, okay? Yep. So we understand the ways of, I don't want to do this because it's going to make me bigger versus I do want to do this because it's going to make me bigger. We know that there is a difference. Yes, I know that you're all following, correct? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So little tweaks and moves um, are going to help you to have um, a kind of like rounder posterior and a nice kind of like hamstrings and stuff versus rubbing thighs. Here we go, are you ready? First up, we're gonna start off with cardio. Liz is doing the spin bike. So, so many people love spinning and it is an amazing exercise. I just wanna say that right off the bat. If you are a very slim girl, this is great for you, but we're talking thick girls today, okay? Now, I was talking to Liz and she was already letting me know. It's very quad dominant, so all I feel is quads, no booty engagement. So she's feeling all across here, plus that pushing and pulling movement. She's getting it right into those adductors with the adductors, which means the thighs might start to rub. Yep. If you, Especially if you're in a spin class and you're going and they're saying, turn it up, and you're pushing, all of the quads, okay, the, all the four areas of the quadricep and the inner thigh are all gonna potentially grow, even though it is cardio, Got okay? It. So for my thick girls, this is not gonna be a move that is gonna lean out your legs. This is a move that is probably going to add some size to your legs so thick girl approved not so much mm -hmm. sorry <laughs> so let's take you over to the move that would be the move that you'd want to do if you're thick girl and you are trying to lean out your legs let's go treadmills or running outside are probably a better way to actually um, work your legs without adding some size if you are actually trying to take size off of your legs you have put a lot of muscle on your legs and you want to atrophy them or literally get rid of the muscle, doing um, steady state long duration cardio will probably get rid of some muscle on your legs and all over your body. It's not my favorite thing. It's not something that I say, go and do steady state long duration cardio. But if it is a person that's just like, I have way too much muscle, I want to get rid of some of it. I don't mind that I'm going to lose muscle and be slightly hungrier because those are things that happen. It's not the ideal, but it can help break down muscle and make your legs look a little bit smaller if it's muscle. But if it's fat and you're trying to get rid of some size on your legs some, and you're also not wanting to add that girth on your legs that the spin bike will do, um, doing sprints, and Liz is now going to show us a little sprint. Why don't you take a little rest and then show us what a sprint will look like. Although we will have a video on the channel that will be specific to sprints if you want to see that as well. So you can check that out. Uh, but what Liz is going to do now is she's going to focus on sprints. So this is high intensity interval training. She is going to go as hard and fast as she can until failure. Woo -hoo! Get ready, get ready. Woo! There she goes. And this is great for getting the legs leaner and also losing fat on the legs. Not in the muscle, but losing fat and not adding girth. So this is kind of my go-to um, for that. Unless, like I said, many, many years ago when I competed, um, I did do the atrophy and I did do um, steady state and it worked very well. My legs got very skinny. Whereas this, I'll keep the muscle on my legs that I want, no thigh rub and less fat on my body. And then at any time now, she's going to slowly start to fail, which means her muscles are gonna say, no more. <laughs> okay, I'm going to fall off the back. And then she would take a rest probably for at least a minute, maybe up to two minutes, and she's going to do that again. Um, full max, I would say that that time could probably go, or that speed could probably go up to, for her, about a speed of 12, I'm going to guess. Not saying you have to right now, because she is it. taking the incline up. I'm going up the hill. She's going to go, okay. What she's doing right now, and I will explain, is she's taking her incline up. When she takes her incline up, she's getting more booty, and posterior chain engagement, or the PCP, the posterior <laughs> chain pop, is gonna be in effect. She's gone up to an incline of 11 and a speed of eight. She is doing it in intervals, so she is hitting all of the good muscles plus fat burning. She's gonna go to failure. She's gonna take a rest of about one to two minutes or so until she's fully ready to start again. She's probably gonna do this for about five sessions or probably about 20 minutes in total to get through the whole thing because the rests are long to do this properly. And this, 
thank you very much. <laughs> She's like, I want to do a whole, whole workout right now. <laughs> um, this will be a good way to, again, not add girth while taking off some fat and uh, maintaining that muscle. So this is a good uh, this versus that for the spin bike versus the running for the fit girl. That was good. <laughs> what we're going to show now is Liz is going to show us starting off with the squat. So the squat is known as one of the best bum building exercises out there. I personally don't agree with that. I actually feel there's many other exercises that will help build your bum a lot better than the squat because the glutes work at the hardest when you are in hip um, extension right here. And there's not very much happening as you can see at the top in hip extension. You're just kind of flexing, just holding weight on your shoulder, okay? Whereas at the bottom of the movement where the most stress is in pushing up, that's a lot of thigh. Yes, it does work the bum, yes it does work the hamstrings, but it works the whole leg and I feel a lot of here considering the main part of the movement is here and pushing through. Let's show you an exercise that's going to hit um, more, I think, posterior chain pop. Turn to the side list. So posterior chain kind of is down here. Posterior is your back side, okay? Um, this move is going to hit more glute and into the hamstring right here. And the way that it's going to kind of pop you as a lunge is it's going to kind of help you pop back this way versus this way, okay, if that makes any sense for you. So we're gonna show you a reverse lunge with a squeeze through. So once she gets into position for her lunge, so one foot forward and one foot back, what she's doing is she's really focusing as she comes down to focus into the hamstring right here. Now as she comes up and she squeezes through, as she's bringing this knee through, it's gonna come on the other side of her real quick, she is doing that uh, hip extension and flexing her glute, which is where we get more glute engagement, bam. And she's squeezing it forward, and because that knee is up, she's able, oh, we switched sides. <laughs> she's getting tired, sorry, Liz. <laughs> she switched sides. Uh, so as she's coming up, she is getting more of that proper hip extension weighted with the knee coming through. This will help too, as you're coming down, work on that hamstring as you're doing the squeeze through, and you're getting that hip extension. It's gonna work out the glute without hitting as much of the quad. You are still hitting quad, you mm -hmm. are still hitting adductors, but not as intensely as you are at the squat, making this a better exercise for thick girls mm -hmm. that are not trying to build out their quads, but instead trying to get that posterior pop. Bam, bam, on to the next. <laughs> We're gonna do the next exercise as, no, that's a terrible start. <laughs> The next exercise is deadlifts. Now, there's a huge variety of deadlifts that you can choose from. There's traditional, there's Romanian deadlifts, there's stiff-legged deadlifts, there's single-leg deadlifts, all these types of things. But we're going to show you just a couple of deadlifts that might build the legs more versus do the posterior chain pop, which we just branded <laughs> as a thing. Poster PCP. I like it actually. I think it could be a thing. It, it is actually a hashtag. It's a drug. <laughs> <laughs> One of the moves that I I do love this move actually, but if I was trying to make my thighs a little smaller, I would probably rather than doing the traditional deadlift, which is a great move, but because the action here versus the Romanian that we're gonna show you. Demonstrate? Yeah, let's get you to demonstrate, Liz. So Gotta bring it up. Um, this one does get a little bit more wrap around again, a little bit more into the adductor, so a little bit into the inner thighs um, as you get low down here to lift up versus the one we're gonna show next, which is the Romanian deadlift. Now with the Romanian, she's gonna make sure her knees are just slightly bent. As she brings it up here, she's gonna contract the glutes. Um, and I find that this one is a little bit more isolated to hamstring glute versus the traditional, which does get a little bit more inner thighs um, involved, okay, right here. So if you're choosing between the two to get leaner legs and you are a thicker girl, um, I would probably do this one a little bit more often. You can still keep this one in, like just like the spinning as well, but just maybe not as often. I will show you one more deadlift as well, or Liz will show you one more deadlift as well, that it's also super isolated uh, to the hamstring and probably good for just hitting that posterior, getting into the hamstrings and glutes without hitting too much in the thighs and quads, and that is the single leg deadlift. 
Now with the single leg, I find that this really hits the hamstring. And when I personally do this, I like to actually really lift the back leg up high and really intensify the stretch. This is great for hitting that posterior without getting too much in your thigh, without really getting almost any quad at all. Mm -hmm. You're getting some core and some low back. Um, if, yeah, a lot, lot of hamstring. So this really hits hard, again, without growing the whole thigh. So good for thick girls. Um, if you want to, if you're new, hold on to a wall with one hand. Like, hold on to something. Yeah, while you do it, get your stretch and then really flex it in. And this is a good one for our sick girls who are trying to not grow their thighs, but are trying to get the posterior chain pop. Woo! <laughs> PCP. Oh, no PCP. <laughs> The next group of exercises we're gonna show is gonna start with the leg press. Now, as always, the leg press is an amazing move. It will definitely add really nice size um, to your hamstrings. It's also great for the glute hamstring tie-in, which is a harder area to hit, and that is kind of that area right here between the hamstrings and the glutes that a lot of people have trouble with. But on the other side of it, it will also grow your whole <laughs> leg in every direction, including that thigh rub. The, 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 thigh, the, the thigh rub, yeah, that's pretty much it right there. So I don't have, this is this is our last regular studio, we do not have a leg press here, so Liz is just gonna use the Smith machine here to give you an idea of what the leg press is, just for some of you that don't know what it is, and we'll just talk on this for a second. So we're just turning our Smith machine into a form of leg press, using push up. Here we go. So as I said, so leg press, it's that machine, usually at about a 45 degree angle, where you do this. And you can see from the move itself, it's excellent. We're hitting those hamstrings, we're hitting that glute ham tie-in, but again, when we push through, we're getting quad, we're getting inner thighs, and are you feeling that? Yeah. Feeling the quad? In the, in the inner thighs. Big we're, time. <laughs> big time. We're getting all of that as well. So for my slim girls, amazing move to get a booty pop, to get everything to grow. But for my thick girls, if you don't want your thighs to rub, this may not be the one for you at that moment. Let's show you the one that we're gonna do instead of the leg press while we're trying to slim out our thighs. So while the leg press is awesome, it does, as I said, kind of work across the entire leg. So another move that is also combine exercise, but it's gonna be a little bit nicer to us thick chicks as far as keeping us slender yet fit is the walking lunge. So Liz is gonna show us that exercise right now. So she's picking up her dumbbells and basically she's gonna do really beautiful form for her walking lunges. And I'm just gonna have her go back and forth for a second while I chit chat so you can see her beautiful form. Um, the one thing that I do like about the walking lunge with the thick girls is I know a lot of girls worry like, I don't wanna go too heavy because I don't want my thighs to explode. I feel like you can go as heavy as your form allows with walking lunges and not worry that your legs are gonna grow because again, I feel they're mainly gonna grow here. Your, your hamstring's gonna pop out a bit more. Your glutes are gonna come up a little bit more, but it's not going to do this. There's very little quad and inner thigh as opposed to the leg press. So this one, personally, I try to go as heavy as I actually can, and I don't worry about my thighs growing at all. I don't worry about getting the rub at all. Okay, so this is just a nicer exercise to us thick girls that still want to have muscle on our legs. Okay, so this one you can feel good going as heavy as you want to. And I do challenge you guys, if you've got good form for your lunges, to actually start adding some weight and heavy. work on your, yeah, start to add some heavy. I mean, what what's your max walking lunge? Usually my grip gives out, but I can do 30s and yeah. I think I've done 35 or 40. Okay, so, so about 80 pounds. So about 80 pound walking lunges for her. Um, and what you can do, what Liz just mentioned is sometimes her grip might go, is you can get straps if you need to, if you want to wear um, uh, the, uh, hold onto the dumbbells. You can also throw a weighted vest on mm -hmm. and then you can put the bar on your back. Bar. Yeah, so you can play and keep getting heavier and heavier. Um, I personally, I've maxed out, um, just like with the bar on my back at 110, just because I, I you know, it's like hard to even get it up there. Yeah, yeah when you work out by yourself most yeah. of the time, that it's hard to do that. But I feel comfortable mm -hmm. going up to that weight and not having my thighs grow because I don't want them to. So this is a great alternative to leg press if you're trying to keep your legs nice and slim with muscle. So I really do actually like the leg extension right here. It is, um, it's a machine that helps to isolate the quadriceps, which is the front of the upper leg. 
But if you are trying to lean out your thighs and make them a little bit slimmer, um, I would say this might not be one of the ones that you add to your list. If you do, you might want to keep it really light, like literally. And I, yeah, I know some people who lift really heavy are going to freak out and be like, that's just crazy talk. But we probably do like 30 to 45 pounds if we do it and we'll do like 20. Yeah, we'll do like 20 to 30 reps and just really con concentrate on the contraction. Um, but if you are actually working on leaning out, you might want to just even take it out for a little while and, um, and focus in on some of the other exercises that we showed you today. But we're also going to show you one more that it, it just kind of is a lengthening exercise, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Versus, versus a building exercise. Yeah. yeah, contracting and lengthening. So let's mm -hmm. show you that lengthening exercise right now. So the leg extension, as I said, it's, it's an amazing move. But, and this move here, I'm not gonna say it's a super quadricep heavy move, but it does involve your quads. It does involve lengthening of the legs. It's a lot of core. I love Pilates. And because you're doing moves like lunges and Romanian deadlifts and all these things already, I feel like this is a great lengthening exercise that does involve the quads with literally zero bulk to them whatsoever. Oh. So let's let's take a look at what this looks like. This is called, um, it's called a Pilates bicycle. So what Liz is gonna do is she's getting into proper form here. So the one thing, and then reach it up, is she's really flexing her quad as she gets to the top. She's flexing her calves, she's flexing her quad, and she's lengthening her leg to the back wall. So it's kind of like lengthen as far as you can and flex, flex, flex the quads and lengthen, 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 and flex, flex, flex. And you're also getting a lot of core involved here. You can throw on some ankle weights as well if you're feeling super advanced, but that's not just going to make the quads work, it's really gonna make the abs work. A lot to the point that you might need to put your head down um, but this one here again like I said it's not necessarily a quad specific move it is more of an <laughs> she's tired <laughs> but you got the idea and it is more of an ab specific move but it is that constant flex and that constant lengthen mm -hmm. where when I add Pilates into my routine for trying to slim out thicker legs, I absolutely notice a difference. I notice in my calves, I notice in my quads. I feel like the muscles, because you're doing a constant flex and flex, or if I'm doing, um, can you just quickly show a single leg stretch? If I'm showing sing, uh, doing single leg stretch, it is a constant flex. I'm constantly flexing my calves, flexing my quads. Everything is engaged, my core is engaged. So again, this is not quad specific, but they are involved. It's lengthening of the legs, and it is gonna help to just kind of lean the legs, whereas, as I said, I do love the leg extension machine, but it, it is gonna help to add a little bit of size to those legs. This well, this is, is well, this is a little bit more lengthening and a good addition to mm -hmm. a leg day routine for someone that is trying to just, just tighten up just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So coming from two naturally thicker girls, um, we've been doing this for quite a while. Uh, um, mm -hmm. Liz actually also owns an hourglass workout location. Hourglass. Yes, mm -hmm. and she's been doing this for quite a while. So we do understand and have tried many different exercises and some. So many. Yeah, some <laughs> so you many. actually feel like you'll just be like, I just did squats and it actually feels like my thighs just grew. The jeans are tight. The jeans are tight, everything's rubbing. And I know slim girls are out there just, I, I want that. It's genetics, guys. It's mm -hmm. genetics. Some some of us just grow quicker. So for those of you out there that do five minutes, yeah, five minutes, you, you feel you feel the pump. <laughs> it's so true. For the, those of you out there that feel that you're in the same category as us where you feel it quickly, we're trying to just give you a little bit of a, these are great exercises as well. They just might grow your thighs. So if that's not what you're looking for, try these ones instead. These are the ones we generally stick to to just stay a little bit smaller, a little less rubbing. And, um, right? No rubbing. <laughs> no rubbing. <laughs> um, and they've worked, I feel like they've worked well for us and for our clients that are looking for those goals as well. Definitely. A little bit of a hashtag hourglass technique. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so we hope that you enjoyed that. I hope you try those exercises and uh, that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. We put them out every single week. Um, show Liz some love in the comments, please. She was awesome. She muscled <laughs> through that. Um, she was. Yeah. Yay. Well, you're awesome. Thank you. You're awesome, too. It's all <laughs> love here. I hope you guys have an amazing week. I'll see you next week. Peace out. Bye. <laughs>